hello everyone welcome back in this session let us have a look on number of images between two plane mirrors when two plane mirrors are kept with some angle then the number of images formed see if two plane mirrors are kept with an angle theta then the number of images formed can be uh, given like this if the position of the object is asymmetrical see if the position of the object is asymmetrical with respect to the two plane mirrors then it is given as n equal to 2 pi by theta minus 1 see if 2 pi by theta is even then we have to do minus 1 that means uh, pi value we know that that is 180 degrees so 2 into pi 360 360 by theta where theta is the angle here see if uh, we got the 2 pi by theta value even then we have to do minus 1 if we got any other odd number then we can uh, leave the 2 pi by theta as 2 pi by theta only no need to do minus 1 and now uh, one more uh, case is if the position of the object is symmetrical with respect to the two plane mirrors then definitely we have to do 2 pi by theta minus 1 even though it is uh, odd also you have to do 2 pi by theta minus 1 if the position is symmetrical with respect to the two plane mirrors if the position of the object is symmetrical with respect to the two plane mirrors then we have to do 2 pi by theta minus 1 even the result is odd if the 2 pi by theta value is odd then we have to do minus if it is symmetrical if the object is symmetrical with respect to the two plane mirrors yes now so let us uh, go through this table see we can uh, see some nine situations here first uh, and uh, second column you can see that degree theta in degrees and in third column we can see that the formula n is equal to 360 by theta and in uh, fourth column again divided into two parts uh, fourth column number of images formed if object is placed see if the object is placed asymmetrically is one part and if the object is placed symmetrically another part so now let us have a look at the first situation in first situation the angle between the two plane mirrors are zero see if the angle between two plane mirrors are zero means the two plane mirrors are placed parallel to each other so whenever the two plane mirrors are placed parallel to each other the number of images formed or infinite number of images will form due to the multiple reflections taking place uh, within the two plane mirrors infinite number of images are formed so the result is infinity whether it the object is placed asymmetrically or asymmetrically infinite number of images formed when the angle between the two plane mirrors are zero and now coming to the second situation the angle between the two plane mirrors are 30 so 360 by 30 we'll get 12 now so n equal to 360 by theta is 12 now if it is placed asymmetrically see 12 is a even number so we have to do minus 1 so that is 11 so in the same way for a symmetrical also it will be 11 only and next coming to the third situation 45 degrees the angle between the two plane mirrors is 45 degree so n equal to 360 by 45 so we'll get 8 again 8 is a even number so 360 by theta minus 1 so we'll get 7 images for asymmetrical or when object is placed asymmetrically and when object is placed symmetrically we'll get 7 and coming to the fourth situation the angle between the two plane mirrors is 60 degree so we'll get the formula n equal to 360 by 60 so 360 by 60 means we'll get a 6 again 6 is even so we have to do 360 by theta minus 1 so we'll get 
five images when the object is placed asymmetrically and five images when it is placed symmetrically when the object is placed symmetrically and now coming to the situation five 72 degrees so when it is 72 degrees we have to n equal to 360 by 72 we will get five so here when it is placed asymmetrically as it is a odd number so we can uh, live like that only we are getting an odd number no so no need to do minus we can live 360 by theta so we will get 5 for the object placed asymmetrically and coming to this uh, next column symmetrical yeah, as we have discussed before when the object is placed symmetrically even though we got a odd number we have to do minus 1 for uh, symmetrical when the object is placed symmetrical to the uh, two plane mirrors we have to do minus 1 so we'll get 4 here and coming to the sixth situation uh, here the angle between the two plane mirrors is 75 degree so n equal to 360 by 75 so the number of images formed is uh, we'll get 4.8 see whenever we got a decimal whenever we got a decimal like this for uh, 4.8 or 4.2 we have to neglect the digit after the point so we have to take only four so when the object is placed asymmetrically the number of images are four and when the object is placed symmetrically also the number of images are four and coming to the seventh situation the angle between the two plane mirrors is 90 degrees so n equal to 360 by 90 we will get 4 see here 4 is even uh, so we have to uh, do minus 360 by theta minus 1 so by that we will get a 3 and for a symmetrical also when the object is placed symmetrical also we will get a 3 images and eighth situation the angle between the two plane mirrors is 112.5 degree so 360 by 112.5 means we will get some 3.2 again here we got a decimal here so the digit after the decimal should be neglected so three images will be formed for uh, the object placed asymmetrically as well as the object placed symmetrically to the plane mirrors and coming to the ninth situation the angle between the two plane mirrors is 120 degree so n equal to 360 by 120 so the number of images formed are 3 and when it is when the object is placed asymmetrically also we will get the same 3 and when it even though it is odd for uh, the position of the object uh, is as symmetrical with respect to the two plane mirrors then definitely we have to do n equal to 2 pi by theta minus 1 so that means we will get 2 here for symmetrical we will get 2 and for asymmetrical when the object is placed asymmetrical to the plane mirror we will get 3 so this is the table regarding the number of images between two plane mirrors when the mirrors are placed with certain angle 